What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video once again here today. This is just going to be rumored details. I will describe them as because we know some of this stuff that I'm about to discuss is not going to ever be talked about from anyone involved creatively with the film. As of now, maybe down the road a decade or two, they'll talk about stuff like this. But that old script we know is out the window. They are re they're doing a creative reboot as Variety reported. I'm basically going to be talking about the rumored scenes Jenna had while expanding on them a little bit more with stuff I was told back in July. And I'll also teeter off into this other rumor regarding the filming process of where i guess scream 7 is looking to shoot i'll also throw some more jabs at spyglass because i i, I still can't get over it. what has happened with melissa barrera because it was just so unnecessary but i'll get to that so matt jarbo shared these tweets now if you're not familiar with matt jarbo that's fine i will leave links to his tweets down in the comment section below but these again are all rumored matt jarbo shared some details about jenna ortega Jen Ortega's role, her reduced role, if you will, in Scream 7. And it kind of matches what Variety was already saying was going to be a cameo they were hopeful for. But we know that's not going to happen at all because Melissa and Jenna will not be back. The Carpenters are sadly gone. So he put out a tweet. I'll leave a link to both tweets in the description saying, I got a phone call from a source who gave me some info about the script for Scream 7. Jenna Ortega's character was apparently only in the script for two to three scenes and they were relative cameos that were just her on the phone and away at her new job. The main character was Melissa Barrera and Jenna was just going to be a very small cameo role. Apparently uh, she hadn't agreed to this and the producers were hopeful to get her on board for just that. Just like what Variety was saying, like a cameo. Now, I will shed this as far as like an extension of what he is stating. If that was her role... That lines up with the fact that, like I stated in the previous videos, they were committed to giving Jenna Ortega a reduced role in Scream 7. If she would have appeared, it didn't, it didn't matter. She was basically going to just be a reduced presence. Didn't matter if her schedule was cleared up. They were reducing her screen time. Maybe as like a best, like, like as a best option, just in case her schedule did become busy and she had to dip or something or couldn't commit to the project fully at least she wasn't in there completely where they would have to rewrite it i mean they're doing that anyway but you get my point so here's what else was happening with tara i didn't share this in my other video from wednesday when i was talking about those alleged plot details but here's some more of those alleged plot details tara was still dating chad so chad would have been with tara away wherever those two were living she has this new job or whatever she's on the phone i'm assuming she's on the phone with sam because what would have happened in scream 7 allegedly chad goes off to help sam when ghostface resurfaces that causes friction between those two because she becomes upset at chad for leaving tara behind and possibly getting tara hurt while she's alone here's my thing though i don't see why tara wouldn't go get involved granted she did state I don't want to be a part of this so maybe that's her stance and she's living up to it but it just becomes hard to fully invest in the idea that she wouldn't do anything she would just sit there at home seems a little bit hard to believe but that's some extensions of what matt is talking about that i've heard she was still with chad so chad would have been involved in this phone call i would assume and i'm trying to map this out in my head i know that i was told chad would have had issues with sam because sam would have taken issue with chad leaving tara behind who i guess has a new job somewhere where they both are living together but jumping into the filming rumors matt jarbo said this about filming Today, I was just told that the movie has only been delayed by a couple of months and will start filming soon in Wilmington, North Carolina. He says his takeaway from that is that the new script is further along than we thought and they are still determined to get the movie filmed in 2024 and out by early 2025. Now, I will say this. I don't fully agree with the fact that I think they are far along in the writing process as much as I think what had happened is they took the duality of what I told you guys were the alleged plot details, which already included Sydney, Mark, Sydney's kids. Took that, made it the main and only thing, since you no longer need the core four story, most likely, since I don't see I don't see Jasmine and Mason uh, returning either. 
despite Variety's initial report, they deleted the fact that they were all had deals. That was deleted from Variety's article. Some people have also highlighted that those two don't even follow Paramount on Instagram anymore. So I don't see Jason uh, or Jad or not Jason, <laughs> Mason or Jasmine returning. What they likely have already done, though, the writers, is they took that story that was a duality with Sydney, Mark, the kids, made it the whole thing and have gotten further along than you think they would have because of the fact they already had an idea of where they wanted to go since the story already included sydney and it's likely the story we're going to get now anyway is just a completely sydney centered story that once again puts her back in the hot seat ghost spaces after her yada 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 my only thing here is that i still am just so bothered by melissa barrera being fired i i really just think hollywood again you have to stop the grandstanding spyglass pro israel okay that's you she's pro palestine you guys are not friends <laughs> and if we're being quite honest melissa barrera was she not willing to work with them she was the one putting her morals aside from what i can see she was the one doing what i say should be happening put that aside spyglass was the one being overly sensitive and they dropped her and you know you can argue that spyglass and that's that it's their company they can do what they want okay fair my argument is just that it shouldn't be happening it shouldn't be happening that politics and all that stuff grandstanding that's got to go it's got to go because she didn't deserve this we shouldn't really even be seeing sydney's prescott story getting finished more so than we should be seeing sam carpenter's story getting finished that's all i have to say i have no issue with nev campbell either that's not what i'm saying i don't have any issues with anyone who signs on to this project i know they're going to get a lot of flack I do think that Nev will sign off for reasons related to the fact that you guys struck for a reason, milk these companies for everything that they are worth and go home. But I just hope that if she does return, she uses her returning opportunity to maybe get Melissa a way back in. If we get an inevitable scream eight and I would like to see Nev try to maybe force them into writing off Sydney Prescott indefinitely, keeping her alive, giving her the happy ending she deserves and somehow getting melissa back if the opportunity is there but again like i stated i want scream 7 to be in anyway let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification image video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video